Welcome to Bark House and Nature Bites. Today we're talking about coyotes and about coyote dens. And right in front of me is actually an active coyote den. We know it's active because we recently come out here, we've seen some fresh coyote tracks, some fresh scat, poop, some freshly dug earth. So you know it's definitely an active coyote den site. So what happens is the coyotes are gonna give birth to their pups in April. But before that even happens, the coyotes are gonna excavate several den sites. Not just one, but actually several. The idea is, should they have to quickly leave this den site, especially with their pups, they have another one ready to go. Comes in pretty handy. And these dens, when they're excavating, they're not doing that from scratch. They're usually using like old fox burrows, or old woodchuck burrows, old badger burrows, old skunk, maybe an old coyote burrow from years past. So some old one, not usually making these burrows from scratch, these dens from scratch. And the dens are about three to five feet deep. The entrance itself is about 10 to 13 inches wide. It's not very big. And this is just one entrance or exit to this particular den. There's actually several. I can see a couple of them right now. And the idea is if the coyotes are in there and they gotta make a quick escape, they got a couple options to do so. They're not tied to this one entrance exit. So a little escape hatch is almost if you will. So the pups are born, born in April, and after about 10 days, they're gonna have their eyes open and crawling around in that den site. The father is gonna be bringing food for the pups for the first two months. And sometimes that food is actually regurgitated to feed to the pups. Think about that as you're having your breakfast right now. And after about three weeks, the pups are gonna start crawling out, kind of exploring, checking out the area. And after about eight to nine weeks, the pups and the mother and father are gonna leave this den site completely. It's abandoned. They're not gonna be coming back again to this particular den site. Maybe next year, depending on the pack. A couple other things too is by the end of the summer, those pups are going to leave this area completely. They might stay part of the pack, it depends on the pups, but otherwise they're going to leave this territory, go to a new one, start their own pack someplace else. Coyotes also have really big home ranges, about 5 to 10 square miles. So pretty big little home ranges for sure. So that's coyote dens. We're just seeing a couple of them here at Bark House and right now. I think I'm going to get out of here in case a coyote decides to come out here and say hi. Hope you enjoy this Bark House and Nature Bites.